This was the little girl that they did that first, what became known as the Blaylock Tausig shunt, shunting blood by past the obstruction. And she was 15 months old and had blue hands, although they don't project well. Bill Longmire was the assistant at that operation, and this is what he said um, when he saw the baby. The child's lips were deep, dark blue. Everything was dilated. It was almost purple. This is a child that we don't see in the current era, although I have seen them operating abroad. You don't see babies this blue. They are so blue. And there were, as he points out, no modern instruments. These were big instruments, big sutures, horrible needles. And it was only the determination of Blaylock and his technical skill, learnt largely from Vivian Thomas, that got this baby through. And this operation changed the way that blue babies survived for the next decades. She became blue again in a few months. I, we won't, I know the technical reasons, but it's not important. But what is important is that they also realize that you've got an artery to the other arm, and therefore you could turn down the artery to the other arm onto the artery to the lungs and use that. And although it didn't work in her case, that suddenly became a way of extending the lives of these children even further. And it was one of those moments where the media catch on to what's going on. You know, there's, a, there's a, that time when the headlines appear at the right moment. And this was this, the first headline, saving our doomed blue babies. They became known as blue babies, and Blaylock became, and Tausig became saviors of them and had developed an international reputation, uh, quite rightly, for changing the life of so many children. <laughs> 